It's time for your morning rush. It's everything you need to know before you head out the door. All right, first, a sentencing hearing for former Columbia Police Chief Randy Scott is scheduled for 930 this morning. This comes after Scott pleaded guilty to possession of a firearm while using illegal drugs back in August. He could face up to 10 years in prison. He worked for the Richland County Sheriff's Department before he became police chief, but he resigned citing post-traumatic stress disorder after one of his officers died in the line of duty. The Townville Elementary School shooter Jesse Osborne will be back in court today for a sentencing hearing. He pled guilty to murder last December after he shot and killed his father and six-year-old Jacob Hall. Osborne also injured three others when he opened fire on the playground of the school back in 2016. Along with the murder charges, Osborne now faces charges of attempting to escape his cell at the Anderson County Jail. The sentencing hearing will continue this morning at 9 a.m. All right, televised impeachment hearings begin today for the first time as President Trump welcomes Turkey's president to the White House. House lawmakers are expected to question Ambassador Bill Taylor, the top U.S. diplomat in Ukraine, and George Kent, a senior State Department official. Both will likely testify about the president's dealings with Ukraine. Well, also happening this morning, the SEDOT is expected to give an update on the I-20 widening project in Lexington County. The department will give the latest details on an upcoming traffic shift and will even have a video simulation of the traffic changes. The 11 mile widening project extends from mile marker 60 near US 378 to mile marker 49 at Long's Pond Road in Lexington County. Now the project will add a third inside lane in both directions on that stretch of interstate with the aim of reducing traffic congestion. The project is expected to be finished by the summer of 2021.